What is up my stallions of programming galloping through the codes of the IDEs? It's Real Touch Gmail here and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding shooting into our actual Java game, which is pretty awesome. So, first off, what we're going to do or you know, I'll just show you the progress that we have and if you actually don't know if this is your first video coming in, I'll link you in the description of our first vi of the first video of the series and you can take a look at that. But if not, then we can continue. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our sprite sheet and open with paint.net. And I'm just going to create a bullet sprite. So let's try something like flames coming out. And then let's get a little bit of orange in there. And there we go. Then we'll just make everything transparent. Just like that. And there we go. So that is our bullet sprite. So I'm going to save it. And everything is good. So now if you hit the project and you hit F5 and you open the sprite sheet, it is now updated. Or hopefully it should be. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to call it bullet. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create two variables, private double x, private double y. I'm going to create the constructor, double x, double y. This dot x equals x, this dot y equals y. And I'm also going to have a tick method, so public void tick. And we're going to say y minus equals 10. And we can also say public void draw graphics g g dot draw image and we need to get the image actually. So I'm gonna say uh, what do I do in the player here? Just create a new sprite sheet. Okay, so I'm gonna say buffered image image. We'll just say and. We're gonna say sprite sheet ss equals new sprite sheet. Now we're gonna be changing this later on because what I don't want to happen is having to create a new sprite sheet every single time the new object comes up because it'll be loading the sprite sheet every time we create a new uh, bullet, which is gonna cause some lag and it's not it's not the best. So this is going to be row 1, column 2, 32 by 32. So now we'll just draw the image at, we have to cast it to an integer x, integer y, and null actually. So this should all make sense. If it doesn't, you can look back on my other tutorials, but this should all make sense. And we have to say image equals. There we go. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is creating a linked list. So I'm going to create a new class here, controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new linked list. So private linked list. I'm going to put in here bullet, name it B, equals new linked list, bullet. And what a linked list is is it holds a list of all of the all of well, a bunch of bullet objects. So I'm also going to say bullet temp bullet. There we are. So now I'm going to say public void tick. I'm going to create a for loop int i equals zero. I is less than b dot size. I plus plus. Now I'm going to say temp bullet equals b dot get i temp bullet dot tick and now I'm going to explain this a little bit so basically we're creating a for loop that runs through say we had two bullets in the room it's going to run through this twice because it gets the size of the actual list so if it equals zero it's going to run through here and temp bullet is going to equal b dot get zero so this is getting the zero temp bullet in the room now if we have 
Now, once it goes through that, it'll go up one, I will go up one, and it'll be temple at equals b.get one, and then it'll tick that. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is public void render, graphics g, and I'm just gonna copy this for loop here, paste it down, and instead of tick, I'm gonna say render g. Um, what else do we have in here? Bullet, graphics g, Oh, I'm sorry, it's draw. We put draw in there. Why did I put draw in there? Let's make it render. <clears throat> okay, so now we have actually successfully made it into a link list. Now, what we're also going to do is I'm gonna create a method called public void add bullet. I'm gonna call it bullet block. I just like to say block is my parameter that I call, and then just b dot add block public void remove bullet bullet block and b dot remove block there we go so this is still getting an error seriously okay no okay that was just an eclipse bug but there we go so now this is all we need to do with the controller so this should make sense if not leave it in the description not, not the description, the comment section, and I'll take a look at it. But now in our game here, let's create a instance of our controller class here. So controller C, and then we'll initialize it, C equals new controller. And then in our tick, C.tick, and in our render, C.render G. So now if we played the game, as you can see, nothing but if we go into our controller here, and actually, since we put in the constructor a game, we're gonna have to import that into our controller as well. So game, game, public controller, game, game, this.game equals game. And the reason we're doing this is, I'll show you in a second. So then we just put it in the constructor this because it's referring to this class, the game. Reason we do this is because in our bullet constructor, we're gonna need this game instance here. And once we create it, so now we can say add bullet, new bullet, we'll say the X is 100, the Y is 300, and now we need the game, so we can just type in game. Now if we play it, as you can see, there was the bullet but I think I, I messed up this right here so this should be two this should be one okay yep so there it is I don't know if you saw that but there was the bullet here I can make it there we go so there it is and now all we have to do is make it shoot out of the gun all we have to do so what I'm gonna do is go into the game here and I'm gonna go to key pressed else if key equals equals key event dot vk space p dot set shooting to true uh actually no we're going we're just gonna say c dot add bullet new bullet p dot get x p dot get y this And we can take out that right there. So that should work all by itself. So yeah, there it is. And as you can see, there's a ton in the room. And we can now shoot. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. One more thing we can actually do real quick though, is in here, what we're gonna say is temp bullet. No, we're gonna say an if statement here. So if temp bullet dot get x now get y is less than zero remove bullet temp bullet 
and in our bullet here we can get a getter function so public int get y return y oh, I'm sorry double so now when our bullet passes the zero coordinate which is up here it's going to destroy itself so go and leave a like go and subscribe tell me what you guys want to see next time and please do leave a like it tells me that you liked it and you learned something and let's try and get 10 likes this time so yeah that's basically it if I did not explain anything because I know I just went fast here leave a comment don't just go I will I will respond to it okay I'm telling you right now from me to you you're watching this right now I will respond to the comment if it is a question all right so leave a like on subscribe let's try for 10 likes this time and I will see you guys next time peace Hot.